there's a birthday party outside for a one year old so I'm not invited anyway <laughs> so I want to show you today my most loved luxury purchases and the ones that were a total disaster and I regret them so so much let's start with my most loved pair of shoes and I would have to say the Louboutin Simple Pump it's called and it's right underneath I added the red sole that you can buy and add it yourself so it doesn't get damaged and it looks more red than normal and this one's are slightly less than a hundred millimeters this part is going crazy and mines are in patent nude and it's nice to have patent because they don't get damaged so much they are like harder um, and they're super shiny and this is I mean, people talk about Le Boutin being so uncomfortable, but these ones are incredibly comfortable. And it's so nice to have the Le Boutin bread soles with the nude. I mean, this go with everything. And I've been, I've been wearing them a lot. I mean, I was reading in Selfridges and it says, according to Monsieur Le Boutin, this is the shoe every woman should own, rounded at the toe with a sturdy stiletto. The classic shape allows you to seamlessly transcend from one season to the next. I think that says it all. And in my uh, life, in my practice, I've been wearing these a lot. I love them with jeans, I love them with dresses. They're great for weddings because it's such an amazing shoe. Look. On the same note, and going with the kind of similar situation I bought these Jimmy shoes and these are so high and I thought it was a great idea I was dating at the time a super tall guy and I thought it would be cool and sexy and to want to wear these no I can't no way I cannot walk I mean these are great for like if they drop you from uh, the car and then you have to just stand you know and can't even walk to the restaurant because my, I guess my legs don't, my ankles don't bend enough to wear these, even though they have um, a platform. So, don't buy shoes, you cannot walk on them. I mean, the best idea is to walk a lot in the, in the store, in the shop, try them well. I bought these online, so that's a problem maybe. So try your shoes really well. I mean, I had all the Jimmy shoes that they are amazing and super comfortable and loving. Um, just, you know, I, it was a long shot. Now another favorite would be this Gucci boots. I, <laughs> I wore these to death. I mean, basically, I even had the heel replaced and I weighed 150 pounds to have this whole situation replaced because I love them so much. They are super pointy at the toe, like super, goes all the way and is sexy. I mean, they hug your ankles so much and they have the lion, the golden lion, they go with everything as well. They have their gold heel, they are super comfortable on the inside, they're like so gold. I mean, you can even fold this if you want to, I mean, it's just beautiful. I love them so much. I would die if they, I mean, I think that they would last forever if you keep uh, taking care of them. I mean, they're a little bit wear at the toe, but I love them. This is one of my best purchases. Cost per wear is cents, so I love them very much. Now going into worse shoes, I would have to say this Tory Burch uh, pumps. I mean, they look they're so luxury. I have this for a while now. <laughs> I should sell them now. But they have the gold and the animal print. And the animal print it has like fur. It feels like real, although it's not real. But they are so they hurt here. I mean, they hurt. They're so narrow. I try to stretch them, but they just. It's just painful. I mean, my feet are a little bit wide, so that maybe it's a little bit painful, but I mean, I regret them because they are just uncomfortable to me. So, you know, it's difficult. I love the shape and I love the idea. It's just uncomfortable. Now, going back again to my most favorite ones, I would have to say my Gucci Ace. I love them. I mean, they're just such a piece of art. I mean, if you know me, you know I love flowers 
and I love birds as well and these are well that's a classic one from the inside it's just a classic one but on the outside is the flowers and I love them I love them they're super comfortable they're just a piece of art I mean you have to be minimalist on top I have a video about how to uh, style these <laughs> Now going into worst, and I think this is one of my worst, worst surprising purchases because, because I love Gucci and I thought this shoe was the perfect working shoe. If you see it has a heel that is not too high so I wanted to wear these to go to work to kind of spice up my outfit with a little bit of the Gucci logo on the side but every time I wear these, this kind of plays a role into I don't know it just creates this event and it makes my shoe kind of slide out and I sent an email to Gucci saying why why what did you do why you didn't test this shoe and they reply like go back to your Gucci shop and talk to them and well I already wore them and I bought them at Nordstrom and I was I, it was during a trip so I, I wasn't able to go back and I spent $700. I was angry at the fact that I cannot wear these. I don't know if anyone knows how to fix this because I love the shoe. I mean, the shoe in itself is really cute, but it just kind of slides out, which is really weird because I had other sling bags. So if this happened to you and you fix this, let me know. <laughs> now, going into the best best shoe ever I would have to pick these which I also love very much these are my Chanel ballet flats and did you know that Coco Chanel had really long feet and she created this design so it will look like her feet were shorter by changing the color of the, of the toe and they have the Chanel logo on the top and they have the silver side on the heel these have been loved very much they are in this beige color and I think that they are so preppy and so beautiful. They are Chanel, I love them. I will buy this again. I love them. So, best ever. Going into slightly not as favorite, I have this Prada wedges. They are very high also, which I thought that was cute. I thought it was a good idea at the time. But they are very narrow, I don't know if you can see, but they're very narrow and I find them very unstable when you walk um, on them. I haven't been wearing them much uh, just because I feel unstable. Maybe I need to practice more and now that wedges and um, this kind of platforms are in season, I might give it another try. I like them and they're comfortable, it's just a bit unstable, so careful with that. And to finish my video, we had to go with uh, with another favorite, which are these Celine white um, pumps. And I love this design, and they are incredibly comfortable and so sexy. And they are because they have a little bit of um, platform here. They are much higher than what you feel like uh, walking in them. And I just love them. I mean, the quality is just divine. And it's just very interesting because the inside is like kind of going in, which is very, a very interesting, really cool shoe. I will buy Celine. Celine is a classic. You need to buy a Celine shoe. And with that, I hope you enjoyed my video. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I will really appreciate it. And I'll see you next one. Bye.